Hello friends and happy last week of July. Hard to believe that we're already at this point. August is just around the corner and certainly the heat that we're promised is uh, letting us know that. So grateful to all those who made our Mass for Grandparents and the social afterwards uh, possible. Uh, our Humanitas, our, our, our pro-life group is doing just beautiful things and look for many more things in the year to come just to remind us of the sanctity of human life and the beauty of the family. Uh, and grateful to their efforts here and, and, and so much in, in the weeks and months coming forward. And, and to our hospitality crew led by, by Angie Bush, uh, looking to have monthly hospitality in, in, the, in the coming year. It's important for our parish to get to know each other and especially as new families and new individuals join us, uh, that they have a place where they can just sort of sit down and talk and, and get to know people. So looking forward to lots of that coming up. As you see elsewhere in this email, our, our school is in need of teachers, uh, fifth and seventh grade. So if you're aware of, of folks who, uh, who have the qualifications to teach, please do reach out to Sister Catherine. Uh, she can provide more information or have the folks reach out to her call or the email is in here. On Friday morning, we've got some folks from the uh, Foundation for Catholic Education, a wonderful group that's raising lots of money uh, for Catholic schools. And that's important if we're gonna keep our school open to help parents with tuition. I'm very committed to that. Uh, and, and you've heard me talk about EITC, OSTC. Folks, we need to work really hard and we're gonna work with this Catholic Foundation. So uh, Eleanor and Sister Catherine and I are, are gonna learn more about that and figure out ways that we can help you help us and, and make this uh, transition. Grateful to the number of parishioners who have already uh, steered their tax dollars uh, towards to scholarship money and grateful for those who will, who will be coming up as, as well. As you see elsewhere in this email, uh, next Monday is our last 6.30 mass during the week until uh, after Labor Day. Still have the 6.30 Mass on Sunday and we'll have one on the Holy Day, August the 15th as well. Uh, this is just to provide a, an opportunity for Father Fong and I to take a needed vacation and, and retreat time. I'll be away next week. Uh, he'll be away the week after that and then I'm gonna go on retreat. So tag teaming this week a little bit, but you'll see us on, on the weekends. Uh, after uh, some back and forth with some paperwork issues and insurance, we're excited that our men's AA group will uh, begin meeting in our uh, school cafeteria, the first week of, of Thursday, uh, that wonderful ministry that allows uh, so many to know freedom from addiction. So looking forward to helping folks there. Uh, looking forward to seeing you this weekend, continuing to praise God from whom all blessings flow. If there's anything Father Fong or I or Deacon Bill or Deacon Pat can do or any of the parish staff, do not hesitate to ask. We'll be uh, beginning more intense recruitment for RCIA. So if you have a family member or you yourself have never completed sacraments of initiation, uh, now's the time to think about that. We'll be looking forward to welcoming you um, to complete, either be baptized or complete the sacraments of Eucharist or confirmation, come into full communion with the church. Already working with a couple folks on that to allow our church to grow. So shake the trees, folks. Jesus needs us to be who we are so the church can be who it needs to be. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool.